tofu skin. Have you ever had this? Welcome to China 2020. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Let's get out and about and see what's going on in Suzhou. Basically everything shuts down for a few days during Chinese New Year's so I have to stock up on groceries for those days. So I thought it would be fun to take you out to Oshan which is a slightly crazy grocery store slash department store and show you what it's all about. And before we get right into the grocery store, right into the grocery store. I'm gonna have a look around, see if there's anything to eat because I haven't had breakfast yet and uh, going to a grocery store when you're hungry, bad idea. I've never had this before so I figured I'd give it a go. Not really sure what it is because it's in Chinese but here's what it should look like. I think it's like a dry hot pot, which I could go for right now. Get some veggies in me, get some protein. Uh, 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 that's not that cheap. Uh, Wow, the food has arrived. It's huge. Well, not huge, but it's pretty big. This is what it is. It's good. It's like a stir fried mix of the veggies and stuff that I chose with rice and soup. All right, so let's try this unknown dish. Now, I used to think tofu just came in a weird smushy package at the grocery store but until I moved to China. This is called tofu skin. I never saw it until I came to China. But anyway, it basically tastes a bit like pasta. I really like it. Mm. Really good. And my other favorite tofu thing are these tofu puffs. It's like tastes almost like fried bread or something. It's really good. Mm. And the last interesting thing I want to show you are these lotus roots. I've never had these before coming to China either, and I love them. Mm -mm. Breakfast slash lunch is done. Final thoughts? It was okay. I wouldn't be in a race to come back here. question is how do I find a cart? Hmm. This guy's playing a buy a lot. He's clearly got two carts. I can't seem to find one cart. Well I can't find a cart so I'm just going in anyway. Oh a basket. We'll have to do. Videoing in a busy department store is not easy, but I'm kind of secretly loving it because they're always trying to take pictures of me and annoying me. It's like sweet, sweet revenge. <laughs> anyway, I'm just joking, but kind of serious. Here is the famous Baijiu. It's not delicious. I have secured some toothpaste. I always get a terrible tasting toothpaste and then when I do find a toothpaste that I actually like I can never find it again 
and I'm always just cha taking risks, just grabbing one that looks good and it's usually not one that is good. I've tried taking pictures of it on my phone and then, yeah, it just never really works out. buying a bunch of things I need but no groceries all right I got out of there in one piece I bought some stuff that we needed for the house I still need to buy groceries dog food probably a few other things so the day continues gonna get some dog food at this shishi nouveau riche place for dog food and all kinds of things custom knits does your bunny need a collar yeah obviously oh mogi will love this yeah on sale it's on sale jeff i'm getting it He's a fluffy dog, I'm clean. <laughs> Alright, I've spotted the dog food that I need to lug out of here. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're cute. Alright, I just carried that 10 kilogram bag of dog food like a kilometer back to my e bike and I am exhausted. Time to go home and try that toothpaste out. And as you can see, here is the dog food in question. I just arrived back at home gonna walk in there and say hi to the dogs put my shopping away let's go in get the nice Chinese New Year lanterns all right success I just bought some groceries I won camera I watched you walk in the door looking at the carrying door like I said earlier um, trying to find toothpaste in China is always a gamble because if you find one that you like Chances are you'll never find it again for some reason. So today I chose this Colgate and let's see how Jeff enjoys it. It's Colgate toothpaste just like back home, but you never know what flavor you're going to get. You can try to translate it, you can try to do anything, but guess what? You're never going to know until you try. Let's see what it tastes like. The thing is I still have Bailey's flavor in my mouth from the coffee. Success! It is mint. It's mint? It's <laughs> mint. So, I finally won with the toothpaste. Good? It was delicious. Okay, but like, best. do you have to look so fake? <laughs> Let me be honest with you. This is a normal experience in China. So this toothpaste we got today, we could not read it other than Colgate, but then when we finally tried it, whoo, thank God it was mint. But other flavors that we've had are potpourri, toilet duck, mystery meat, and no, not mystery meat, but some of the flavors yeah. are really gross, so win today. It's a win. You cut me off. Oh, sorry. Go on. It's done now. <laughs> I don't know what 
hard to make it a camera. Yeah, it's got a big puffy thing on the top. It's got a big puffy thing on the top. Are you going to smell it too? So let's get out and about and see what's going on. And it's cold, my eyes are watering. Wow, this is an unexpected delight. This has never happened to me before on a flight out of China, ever. Look at this. I just discovered they're on number 39 and we're number 130, so it's gonna be a while. I'm glad Jeff's not here, because he would never have agreed to wait in this line. Mm. Good, worth the wait, really good. Mm. Very fresh. 